All right, so just to demonstrate something. The isolator is on. And as you can see, all of our boards are completely dead. Um, and what I will do is, one to two, well, let me put my test lead or my test meter somewhere where you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right. One to two, let me get this flash off. There we go. So line one to line two. We have got 406, line one to line three. We have got 403 and line two to line three. We have got 46. So we do have three phase power. Now let's check from neutral to each one of the lines. We got 230, that's good. We got 230. And we got 230. All right, so that tells us that our incoming neutral right there, all the way to over here is good. So from here, going up, we've got a problem. So uh, let's trace that neutral and let's have a look at this one over here first. Because this one looks suspect. Someone's put a zip tie over this connector. So obviously the contact on the inside is uh, defective. So um, let's dive into it and have a look and see. Right. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that tells me that we're not making proper contact. And this is our three phase incoming coming towards our filter boards look at this one this one's almost well shut oh look at that you see that it's completely broken off see how wide those contacts are on the inside so they're barely making contact with those and i think that's our problem so this is actually a great video to explain why I checked incoming power on the fuses instead of continuity across our fuses. It's because of this connectors right here. So they plug in right here and that is connected directly to our terminals over here. So that's our incoming supply from there going to the filter board and um, if you've got a bad connection here you can actually see that this one had some excessive heat on this contact so we'll try and um, close up those contacts the power is off just in case you were wondering why I'm so close the power is off but um, we'll see if we can close down those contacts and um, yeah I'm actually a little bit disappointed in um, these designs yeah, I'll see if this is a part that can get ordered if that is the case I'm gonna go ahead and recommend both to be replaced because um, we can actually melt the cable and that can um, actually yeah you can see that can actually cause an electrical fire which is very dangerous so yeah we're gonna go ahead and recommend these connectors to be replaced all right I'm gonna do that and uh, hopefully that fixes it and I'll show you guys all right, so this is, um, you can clearly see the difference, how the contacts look once I close them up a little bit. So, plug that in. You can hear that? And look how loose this is. See that? Yeah, this is definitely a problem. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to secure this somewhere because that can start arcing. See how, see how this can move? I mean, these units are very quiet and there's very little vibration. But still, that can, um, that can become a serious issue right there. So, I'm going to see what I can do about that. And, uh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. But that, um, 
that cable is actually starting to burn through the insulation. Let me take the flash off, maybe you'll be able to see better. Look at that. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do to get them running for today, but this is gonna have to. Alright, look at that. All of our lights are on, and our main board is on as well. So, um, these connectors here we'll have to recommend replacing them for sure so more than likely what happened was um, they were spread out so much and it is more than likely some carbon buildup because they started arcing um, so those contacts can become pitted and um, that uh, caused our system to fail so the unit was off completely obviously causing communication problems because the indoor it's trying to communicate but it can't all right we just had another error code pop up here um, and that is a 206 uh, c004 what we need to make sure is that our um, all of our units all of our pc boards are switching on so let's have a look where i don't know if you guys will be able to see the code 206 says um, let me see if it's better with a flash or not uh, not really nah you guys won't be able to see anyway but 206 says um, communication error so we got to see we got a 206c004 which is communication with our inverter board so one of these inverter boards should be flashing uh, and as you can see the LEDs over here is not switching on that first few that first few as you can see right there the green light flashing we do not have that over here so we have to check if we're getting single face to this inverter board all right so the unit's running now the reason uh, we had that 206 c004 was because that contact that i told you guys about that contact right there at the bottom the spades on the inside push to the back so it wasn't making proper contact so on the one inverter board we weren't getting proper three-phase power um, so yeah we're basically watching the unit run making sure that it starts up properly that suction pressure is a little high on 14.2 bars right now so it's the five flashing means we are on option five option five all right, it's coming, it's coming. All right, cool, that's great. Uh, okay. All right, so everything seems cool. Yeah, I'm gonna close up this unit. I'm gonna let it run until um, basically finish uh, putting everything back together. At that stage, uh, I will reset the unit and they will have to then switch on the units manually at the wire controller, at the wall stats. So there's 15 units on this system and four mode control units so that gives us a total of 24 ports so that's a lot of tracing to do so if you know the smart way you won't have to go to every single unit and have a look whether it's on or off all right but we basically sorted out the issue it was a power related problem so uh, thank you guys for watching hope you learned something um, yeah, never assume. Always double check, triple check if you have to. Peace.